Hi everybody, it's me Elena. Okay, so the paper bag, here we go. You cut these lines across with any kind of scissors like these. Or straight, whatever you want. So, you go like this and you just cut it. Once it is cut, you see how that looks, that color? You just peel these out like that. Just like that, right? I already got some done already here. And we're going to put them on this tag here. And I'm going to show you. I got the glue already set and ready to go. So I'm just going to pour some glue here. And just cover it up halfway so I can give you an idea um, what you can do with this kind of um, project. So you're going to put it right across like this, tap it down across, right? I got another one. Remember, these paper bags, or you know what? You don't even have to spray it if you don't want to. It's up to you. I chose to spray it this color, kind of like a, a blackish, gray kind of. I sprayed it with that, and I let it dry overnight. Because they're, you know, they're kind of strong, kind of, you know? So just get all the glue in and put it in like that. Then you get um, this one and you put it all the way across. Now don't worry about it being even because you know what? Once they're dry, they're dry already, then you're going to cut the lines right here. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be measured and all that stuff, you know? That's what I like about this. So. You add all this across, and it's going to come out that style. See? Right here. It's going to come out like that. It's going to have the orange background, which I use this one for the background. And then I use the black one to spray the paper bags, any kind of paper bags. Dollar store, anywhere. It's, this is not expensive. It's just stuff that we have. And then it comes out like that. You see how that looks? So, I'll cut a couple more like this. This happened by mistake. I was, I'm working on my still, my paper bag album. And I was working on that. And then, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, I was cutting some of these up. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I can use them as, as a border or, you know, whatever. And I was like, you know, I was throwing my trash away, and I'm like, wait a minute. These can be used. Why am I throwing these away? What could I use them for? So I got a tag, and I just put them on there and used my scissors, and I said, wait a minute. I like that rusted look, you know? And I just put them on there, and then they just came out like that. And look at it. See how nice that looks? Then you get your straight scissors, and then you just cut the sides. See? You don't even have to do all that measuring and all that, you know? I hate to measure. See? And that's how it'll come out. Is that cool or what? I like how that looks. Oh, look at my frog. Say hi. Okay. And see the style that I chose? That one versus this one. I just like that rusted look. So, I chose a stamp already, and this is the one that I'm going to go with. So, I'm going to stamp it. Let's see if I can get this out. Use my stamps here. And... Hope everybody's having a great day. Got some things done today. So I just thought, you know what? I better get that video done. You know, there's always like, you know, something coming up or, you know, setting a time. And Okay, so I'm going with this. I inked it up already. And I'm going to have it diagonal. So I like that diagonal sometimes. Oops. It didn't come out all the way, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to do it again. And 
see how that comes out. Okay. So I doubled it, and it comes out like 3D. Look at how cool that looks. With some glitter on the edges and everything. Wouldn't that look cool? Okay. So that's how it comes out with decorating it, and that's the, the tip that you can use this as a border. Use any kind of these scissors, and it'll work great, okay? Well, I'm so glad I got this video done, and thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to comment, okay? Bye!